Hey, this is Jared, and I am back here with for on behalf of Veteran, Veteran Database. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I got the problem figured out. Um, in short, the problem was that our template from Dragit would not work because it required us to use. Um, I'll show you. It required us to use a style tag and a meta tag and a link tag and all of these other tags were creating conflicting issues uh, with the engine that runs Pug. So what I did was I just built out using our, our welcome email as a template. I just built out the same content on the page so now we can actually go test our email. So uh, our email is up. Let me take off that. Okay. So once this comes back up, I'll be able to actually run the email test and you can see it show up here in MailTrap, which is going to be pretty sweet. So... Let me move my face here. Okay. So I'm going to click send. And that actually sends the email. And then here over in MailTrap, we'll see this is what your email is going to look like. Uh, new leads from Veteran DB. Boom. So this is what the email message will look like. It's pretty basic for now. Uh, but that is the way it is. So I'm going to roll with this because I don't have, you know, a week just to try to figure out how to make it look prettier. So I'm just going to roll with this and call it a day. So now that our email is working correctly, we can get rid of MailTrap because we don't need that anymore. Uh, let's see what's on our actual to-do list here. It's been a couple of days. <laughs> uh, create lead gen email endpoint. Okay, so we have the endpoint created, and that's now working. So now all of this we can save. <clears throat> so uh, create commit, prefix it with that. So we're going to save all this code and push it up to production so it works. Oh, one more thing here. Always increase the version. We can get rid of these. Okay, close out our code. Okay, so um, this is going to be uh, create email templates, done. All right. Um, here we want to, let's see, update. Ports. Um, um, make field optional. Um, we're going to kind of a weird thing. Ah, okay. We're going to delete 
date field. And then we're going to add slug field. Okay. Update imports. Um, we order decorators, which those little things here, each one of those is called a decorator. That's a decorator. That's a decorator. These are decorators. It just adds logic on top of this function here or method. Um, so create an email method. Uh, a method is a function within a class, which if that lost you, there's no point in worrying about it. <laughs> uh, update imports. Then we need to add email service to pro to module providers and then service update imports. Add email service to controller. And create email lead gen method. Okay. And then delete field. And add account username field to the email. All right, now with all that done, we can finally update project version 0 0.2.51. What a beautiful thing. All right. So we'll save that comments. Go fix version. Ooh, that's a horrible idea. Okay. Um, now we need to deploy, in which case we will create a pull request to development branch and create. Add a comment for records. We've already tested everything. And I'm bypassing a lot of security stuff here um, just so I can keep everyone's process moving forward. Okay, um, that's going to take a few minutes. So I'm going to pause this and come back when it's done. That way I'm not moving on without you guys. So stand by. All right, so now that this has completed, uh, we can go through and deploy this to production. So I'm going to update this locally. Delete our branch. And then to push to main. There we go. Cool. So now we can switch to production and we get to start that process over again. There we go. So I'll be back when it's done. Stand by. All right. So now our API has been updated so we can go close this out. Done. Uh, deploy to prod success. Boom, boom. Okay. So let's go look at the next one. So now we just need to do the same thing for nonprofit and email. So nonprofit, mm. uh, develop 
assign to me, create branch. So I'm basically just going to go copy the code. Um, name, boom, and that is done. All right. So update our local. There is our branch. Copy branch name. Boop, boop, be doop. Okay, so we are going to go copy um, business stuff over to nonprofit stuff. So business controller module service and then nonprofit controller module service. So let's do module. That's just add an email service. Oh. And take that out. Okay. Um, Nonprofit module. We're going to add <clears throat> email service in here. And then these need to be alphabetical. There we go. Okay. Module is done. Controller, we just added this one to our controller. So we're going to do the same here. Um, I go here. So that's going to be fine there until we add this. Okay. This is going to be nonprofit. We need to import our data object. And then this will be nonprofit. Like so. Okay. And then email service has to be set up um, here. Like so. So now we're done with business and our controller can we can go set up our email testing endpoint. So that one is saved. Duplicate and move to nonprofit. Right there. This is going to be nonprofit. Send email. Lead gen. And basically, this just becomes nonprofit. And then our data is still there. Cool. Uh, so then we just need uh, a nonprofit to test, which there can only be one. Um, we'll do geese for GIs. The guy who runs this place is my buddy, and I've worked with him for years. Okay. Um, that is the structure for that. So we should be able. Oh, we need mail trap. 
again. There we go. We're going to delete this. Okay. That's good. And run it. Good response. And good email. Boom. Nonprofit. I like it. Okay. All the information is there. The link is there. The link all has UTM parameters. Nice. Okay. So nonprofit is now done. So then package JSON goes to 52. I'll just leave that open. And I'll leave that open too because we're just going to use it in a minute anyway. Okay. So now I can go through and deploy because we've already tested everything. Uh, create commits. There we go. 41. All right. Update imports. All right, add email service to the controller. Nice. Create send email method. Nice. Um, update imports. And then this will be Add email service to providers. And this, we go again, update imports. Create endpoints to send uh, lead and email. Nice. And for this one, delete unused imports and last but not least update project version 0 0.2.52 nice so that is done and now we're going to deploy sweet uh Again, this is to the API, so create pull request to our dev branch. Boom, boom. Then we can merge, and then we can delete, and that one's good. Now we come back here to GitHub, and we Update everything here. There we go. We can delete this branch now. Nice. Then we can merge. Nice. So, oops. Development is still building. Ooh, I merged before I was supposed to. That happens. So I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to hope it works. And then I'll see you guys when both of these are done, whether they succeed or fail. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so the development version has deployed successfully, and production has also deployed successfully. Uh, so this is done. Deploy to prod success. Nice. Alrighty. And then one more for podcast. Develop, assign, create, branch.
Okay. So, podcast controller module service. Okay. We'll add email service to the podcast module. All right, that's done. And we'll update the controller. All right. And that's going to go to the very end right here. Okay. Podcast service. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Podcast controller is done. We're going to add the email service. All right. And then we're going to add the email endpoints or the logic method. Okay. Right there. If you're wondering, I'm putting these methods in alphabetical order. So that keeps it simple. All right, that should work. And we update that. Boom, boom, boom. And boom, okay. We're up, create a new endpoint, duplicate, and send to podcast. Podcast goes here, and then rename. This becomes podcast. Okay. Now I need a podcast link. Hold on a second. I hope I hope I'm wrong. I just thought of something. Okay, it's gonna read this, read one here. Okay, cool. Oh, that could have been bad. Okay. Uh, so now we just need a podcast link. We're gonna do this here. Boom, boom. Boom. Okay. So this should be ready. We're locked and loaded. And we're going to clear out mail trap for sanity. Okay. And run it. And we have contact and refresh. And there it is. There's the podcast link. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. So that means all of this works correctly which is exactly what we wanted. So we're gonna leave this here. We are going to now, uh, QA has been completed, so we're going to deploy. Uh-huh. Okay, let's do this. Update imports. Add email service. 
do a controller. Nice. Uh, create and send email method. Nice. Update imports. Um, add email service to module providers. All right. Update imports and um, create send email endpoint. Nice. Update project version 0 0.2.53. We are trucking along. Okay. We're still not done with mail traps. So we're going to keep it here. Deploy to create the PR. We're going to deploy the dev there. And like I've said before, this is a condensed milk version of testing and deployment. I'm just doing the bare essentials so that you guys can see what it takes to even just develop something like this. All right, so that's done. And our build process is running. So once that's done, we will check the results if it's a success. Then we will go on to deploying to production. So stand by. All right. So the deployment to development has completed. So now we're going to go deploy it to production. And when I say completed, it completed with no errors. So that means everything should be okay. Doesn't mean everything will be, but Nine times out of 10, it is. Errors usually tell you when something's wrong. All right, so that process is beginning. <clears throat> so we're going to um, press pause and come back when it's done. Stand by. And we're back. So the API has deployed successfully. So now we are done with that. And we add our comments. Deploy to prod success and done. Outstanding. So the next part, um, basically I'm just gonna shut this video down and then come back and do the other half, which is the putting this, putting a form on the public website and you will see the form. Uh, form is going to be right here in this section. So basically we're going to shift description over a little bit, squeeze it in right here and try to move the other rest of the content kind of around it. See how that works. Uh, but that's what the plan is. Uh, it's going to be pretty awesome once it's up and running. So we look forward to getting that out. Hoping to produce more leads for everyone. All right. Uh, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time. Take it easy.